people, you're back. It's your brother Tack, back with another blade. Damn, too many blades. I know, I'm sorry. Today we're going to finally test this thing out. The coolest, most ultimate survival knife in the universe. You know I'm full of it, don't you? I'm just kidding. This is the Gerber Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife. Let's run through this sheath real quick. Yeah, nylon. Comes with some... Uh, Signaling and a little pocket guide, survival pocket guide. Yeah, whatever. It's your belt loop. Man, ultra freaking cheesy. Ultra cheesy. Uh, you got two, or you got a strap right here, a Velcro strap for retention, and it's also he held in with friction as well. Let's check for rattle. Well, let me hold the whistle. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, got some Velcro right here. And you just got to push on this a little bit, and it comes right out. Now the sheath. It's got some more Velcro. Yeah, lots of Velcro going on. Got a diamond sharpening stone on the back. I'm not sure of the grit. It feels pretty rough. But there's that. You got your little rape whistle. Stop, police! Man, that whistle is fucking weak, huh? That's pretty, pretty lame. <laughs> your feral rod. Got that right there. And there is a spot on the back of the knife that's been ground down a little bit for a nice 90 degree spine so you can get some sparks. Let's try this. Now let's see if we get any spark action. Let's do it. Get it so you guys can see. Gotta take off the coating. You always gotta do that. But yep, it does work. It actually, looks like it works pretty darn well too. Oops, I was using where it's not cleared off. Well hey, what the hell, right? That still works, just not as good as where they ground it down. That works a hell of a lot better. Technical specs. Overall length, 10 inch. Blade length, 4.8. The weight is 11.2 ounces. The steel, of course it's a mystery. Uh, the handle is rubber, like a rubber over mold on some plastic. The blade is a drop point, partial hollow grind. And this one's the partially serrated one, totally lame. Here's your hammer pommel. We're gonna try that out. And I've never used this before, but the finish is already wearing off a little bit just from having that paracord on there. So there's your little lanyard hole. Now the handle shape is pretty darn good. A little palm swell there. Very good traction. Nothing aggressive about it. I mean, seems like it has a little bit of squish to it. But we're going to try this thing out and see how it goes. Initial sharpness time. This is something I was testing another knife on. So let's see how this goes. We'll test out the plain edge part first. Ah, this seems sharper than that last knife I just tested. Okay, the sharpness seems okay. Try out the serrations. Oh, the serrations work freaking really well. Wow, they're really bearing. Cool, cool. So at least the sharpness is pretty darn good. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> So, do you think this thing's going to hold up to some batoning? I'm not sure. Let's do this. Now, this is a softwood. It's nothing major. It's a decent sized piece. This end's a lot bigger than this end, but hey, whatever. Let's see if she'll do it. Man, that bark's going to actually get in my way. Uh, I don't know if I can go that way. Yep, hold on. Let me turn it around this way. This will work. Okay, let's see if this knife can handle it. Like I said, this is a softwood. So it shouldn't be any problem. Well, it went right through that. Cool. And we'll just finish this piece off. Now, I'm not really getting any shock through the handle or nothing. Not yet. Uh-oh. This is the piece I just split in half, but running into some tr troubles now. Oh, come on. One more little piece. We'll just rip this off quick. Curious to see how these uh, serrations hold up. Just do one more piece, about the same size. I just want to make sure for real this is going to actually hold up. Now it's handling softwood, no problem. You know what? We should try some hardwood. Let's do that. Before we continue and do this piece of hardwood, just want to show you something. This is kind of neat. Just the sound difference between hard and softwood. Now listen to this when I drop it. This is the softwood. 
You hear that? It's like thunk, thunk. Now listen to this. What a difference, isn't it? Even just bouncing it, you can tell it's way denser by that, by that sound. That's crazy, huh? Yeah, I just wanted to show you that. That's kind of neat. So a piece of red maple, hardwood. Oh, let's see if it'll do it. Which way do we want to go with this tack? Man, I hope I have enough room. Shit. I might have to take a chunk off like this. I think this is just a little bit too big. Yep, you can definitely tell it's a hardwood. You know what, I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit this tip enough. No, I'm not gonna shit. Let me see if I can just pound it through a little bit so I can get a better. Mm, you know what? I think I chose too big of a piece. Okay, let me get this out and find something a little bit smaller. Okay, it took me like three minutes to get that fricker out. Man, that was stuck. Okay, something a little bit smaller, still decent size. It'll be just an, enough so I can actually hit the darn thing. Okay, let's see how this goes. I wonder if she's gonna break or not. We shall see. Man, I don't think I put it in enough. The tip's getting smaller. That's what she said. Just scoot it through a little. Oh, there. Okay, awesome. Ah, sorry about that. It hit you and me. Well, it didn't break so far. Cool. Well, it seems like it works pretty decent, too. Ooh. Mmm, mm, I'll have to sh show you guys that. Okay, let me show you what I found. I don't know if the freaking shadow is going to screw with us. I'm sorry if it does. Actually, I can't see. Oh, I can see a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, all these uh, serrations, if you look really close, it looks like the metal is actually bending over. If you look at the big ones. If you feel this side and you run your hand down it, wow. It like all that metal right there rolled over. It didn't chip out yet. It actually, well, it kind of started. I mean, it was just like starting. It's hard to show you guys. But look how rough it looks now. It wasn't like that before. And wow, you could totally feel it. So yeah, that part with the serrations, that's gonna go anytime. Now the, the finish ain't bad. You know, finish is always wear. It's not a huge deal. The tip, did it stay straight? Yeah, pretty much, it looks okay. The bevel's off on this, but eh, not convinced, that's for sure. It didn't break, I was waiting for it to freaking break. And I think if I did too much more with it, it probably would've, but it is holding up. Is it worth 50 bucks? I, no way, definitely not worth 50 bucks. Uh, so for the money, I wouldn't recommend it. One to 10. You know, the grip was good. It didn't slip, but there was still a lot of shock in it. Hammer stabs, it hurt my hand a little bit. Uh, it didn't chop worth a shit. It did baton, but look at that. That metal's, it's, it's losing it right now. And that's probably where this thing will freaking break. Because I don't think it's full tang. So yeah, wouldn't recommend it. One to ten, I'd probably give it a, meh, three and three quarters. Being nice, because the handle shape. There you go. Thanks always for hanging out with your brother Tack. And until the next time we meet.